Jack Kramer and I met up in Yosemite with plans to do the shield. Um, so we packed up all of our gear, uh, headed to the base of El Cap, and uh, took a day to haul all of our gear up to Mammoth Terraces um, using the fixed lines. After hauling our gear, we rappelled down and slept back in Camp 4. Then the next day woke up early and climbed a free blast. It was um, 11 pitches up to Mammoth Terraces, where our gear was stashed and we bivvied there for the night. Day 2, we woke up and climbed the first five pitches of the mirror wall, which share the beginning pitches of the shield. Ran into some other parties, shared belays. And we took off on the first pitch of the shield, which was the uh, shield traverse, and uh, Jack and I Rochambeau'd for that pitch. He's shaking your head out. <laughs> Getting footage. Real Are you life. Taking, you're taking video? Real life big wallin'. I, the, <laughs> this is real life big wallin'. We get cell phone service Not up really here. great service. Need to get a forecast update. Need to find out if we're gonna die in two days. After pulling the roof, we got on the um, shield head wall, and it was, it was like we were on a different planet looking up. Kind of, it was just like, where are we going to go? It was crazy. But um, we went up slowly, but um, just kept going. That's all we could really do. And we didn't bring enough beaks or um, sod angles. Our sod angles were too long, so they didn't really work. And we only had, I think, three large beaks, three medium, and three small. And small were pretty much useless, or they're just really scary, so we didn't really use them. But um, the large ones were awesome, so I'd usually back clean the larges a lot, so it was scary to be climbing and look down and you didn't have a whole bunch of gear below you, so it would have been a big over. The uh, last pitch of the day, Jack was on, and I think it was just a long day and both of our minds were pretty frazzled. Jack went up about, about um, over halfway and uh, he just said his mind was too screwed and his head wasn't doing good, so he lowered off of a beak and uh, I chucked the line back up and continued to pitch. It was probably like a three hour lead or something. But then uh, we set up the port ledge in the dark again. Waking up for the morning. Woo, big wallin'. We fucking hate this. Yeah. <laughs> we we want to be on the ground right now. All of our shit when we get off of this. We gotta go up there. Selling everything, taking up biking. <coughs> 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 yeah, me too. Down. <sighs> what a view though. One pitch on the head wall, we had six more pitches to make it to the top. Um, we climbed through the day, everything went well, and we topped out around 6 that night. 